This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put in orders for point of care testing. So you're going to go to intake. On this left hand side here, you're going to scroll all the way down to orders and results. You're going to click this plus sign. And you'll see here that all of our point of care tests are listed in one section. I find it easiest to do this, do it this way. I open this section and I select what's needed. So we'll just say we're doing a rapid strep on this patient. I click rapid strep and I come out of that and add in my diagnosis. And the diagnosis that we use as medical assistance when we run a strep is pharyngitis. and I usually just click pharyngitis there. Then I would run the point of care test and result it. So I will result it as negative. And then that's done. Usually you can hit sign orders, but because I'm in a test patient, I'm unable to do that. So because it's negative, our rule of thumb here is that we always send all negative streps for a culture. So to add in a culture, you're going to use the same diagnosis of pharyngitis. You're going to use this plus sign over here because you want to add an additional order to that diagnosis. And then you'll see here, you can type, you can scroll through. This is typical orders for pharyngitis. I find it easiest to type in strep culture. Oops, if I spell it right. So it's that group A strep screen culture. So you're gonna click on that and you'll see how the number one appears next to it. That means that you've added one of that order to the group, uh, to the chart. You do not use throat culture. So then I just click out of that anywhere and I scroll down to find my new order that I added in. And you can see that it says group A strep screen culture. So now you have to tell Athena what to do with it. So you're gonna open it up and work on the task. The first thing we do, no culture is ever stat. We don't need an alarm, so you change it to no alarm. And always change the specimen type to office draw. If you leave it as external lab, this culture goes in as an order versus a test that we've obtained. So you're going to put the site in, the source specimen in three times. That's how I always know that I'm doing it right. So, throat, 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 collector, I type in my username. And then when, you just put the letter N and you hit tab and it auto fills it in. N stands for now, I'm doing it right now and you can see it time stamps it with the time and today's date. So then after this, you would hit sign orders up here. Again, my test patient is allow, isn't allowing me to do it but once you hit sign orders, it's gonna go down here and you see how your rapid strep, oops, your rapid strep culture is in there. It would say performed if it would have allowed me to hit sign. This would say in perform status. So then you would click on this to tell Athena that you did it. It send it to review to him again, test patient. Normally, you would hit view actions, and the first drop down here, it would say submit via in-house specimen draw, and you would hit save. So that's just a brief overview. We'll go over more of this at a later date.